One of the major events of a girl's life is when she experiences her first period and is reminded of her entrance into womanhood. This new phase in a girl's life is met by new worries, like how to manage the period. However, the way in which each culture thinks about and constructs menstruation is as important as the manner in which communities inform, educate and influence their adolescent girls to think and present the female body, develop self-image and nurture self-esteem. We started first of all our research to find out issues on gender equity and equality. But we realized that most of the girls were not going to school despite the government having declared free primary education. And we wanted to find out what was making girls not enjoy this benefit. The girls themselves told us the reasons, among others that make them drop out of school, was lack of sanitary tiles. The absence of sanitary tiles, girls who are using newspapers, others who are using the old pieces of socks that are old and thrown away, others who are using cow dung with leaves, other girls who are making the bean bags, but instead they would make soil, put soil in it and then they would use. Girls from the slums who are using, they were collecting the used sanitary tiles and they would wash them and then reuse them as sanitary tiles. I feel privileged to stand in front of you to represent all the girls in primary schools in Kenya. I would like to take this golden opportunity to sincerely thank the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Education for the provision of sanitary towels. I wish to also state here as a voice of primary school girls that we have suffered for a long time in silence. We now have access to what our parents could not provide. African Cotton has been distributing FMCG products across Kenya and East Africa for over 50 years. We reach the most remote retail outlets across the country and as a result we found that we were best placed uh, to get this product to schools across Kenya. But one thing that we noticed and we've been we've known from a long time is the fact that primary school and secondary school girls in impoverished areas in Kenya are missing several days a month of school um, because they don't have access so they can't afford sanitary pads. As a result, we've been donating pads to schools for, for a number of years. Yeah, we've been supplying to various NGOs and, and uh, charitable organizations. So the issue has been very close to our heart, but we didn't have the, the resources as the government does to kind of really tackle this issue in a big way. Oh, one of the joys of working with African Cotton is the fact that they have also elaborate corporate social responsibility. Even when the government had not come up to provide sanitary towels, they still supported many, many girls from the informal settlement with the free sanitary towels. And one thing I learned from them is never give a girl what you cannot use. The fact that the government has given us faith um, as a local manufacturer to, to produce this product um, has given us a lot of confidence um, that uh, we can really go a long way um, as, as a local Kenyan firm. We now are supplying to 250,000 girls. So it's had a huge impact on us. One is uh, we've, we've been able to, to grow our production facilities, um, employ more people, get more of our product out there. Number two is in terms of foreign exchange. The government and uh, the monetary policies that the government needs to employ should look into supporting and buying locally. The final and more sort of peripheral benefits one is in terms of all our packaging material, all our, some, um, a huge bunch of our raw materials, um, a lot of our costs that go into the manufacturing process, electricity, water, are all local. So you're, you're spending money locally. And again, this, this adds back to the first two points, which is spending money locally, adding more jobs, creating wealth locally. On the 2010-2011 budget, uh, the government decided to, to allocate um, 300 million to tackle this problem for the first time in, in any, any government has done in Africa and it's quite a quite an achievement. During the official launch of the Government of Kenya's School Sanitary Towels Program, which was attended by the Prime Minister, Honorable Raila Odinga, and the Minister of Education, Honorable Mutula Kilonzo, African Cotton Industries reiterated its commitment to partnership. But thanks to the Government of Kenya, the first campaign of its kind was conceived. 
and African Cotton is proud to partner with the Ministry of Education to help address this issue in a substantial and impactful way. Together, this year, African Cotton will manufacture 20 million sanitary towels to cover a quarter of a million Kenyan schoolgirls, a figure that would not have been possible without the government of Kenya's commitment and funding. But what is guaranteed is that for this program to truly have an impact long term, we need to keep the momentum going. I'd like to close by respectfully appealing to his honorable prime minister and the government of Kenya, as well as the ministry, to continue this partnership in promoting this inc incredible initiative and building on it further so we can achieve our shared vision of ensuring all schoolgirls have access to sanitary towels throughout their educational careers. Thank you. We are not launching the sanitary towel program in a vacuum. We do it as part of the comprehensive gender policy in education recently developed by the government. This policy seeks to address gender inequalities in the education sector. It aims at reducing existing gender disparities in access, retention, transition, and achievement in education. The overall goal of the government is therefore to provide equal access to education for both boys and girls, respective of their socioeconomic status. This is very fundamental, and uh, I am very happy to be here today to launch this project here. And it is a beginning of a liberation of uh, female children, so that they will not have this curse. Poverty has also tended to compound the problems that girls encounter at the onset of puberty. Studies have shown that girls who could not afford underwear on which to rest their sanitary protection materials tended to remain at home during their menstrual period. This consequently undermines their confidence in class, making them less engaged and ultimately contributing to poor performance and an early dropping out of the school system. The first one, ovaries get bigger and African Cotton Industries is the only local manufacturer of certain sanitary pads and over and above that our product is of the highest quality. African Cotton Industries is required to provide sanitary pads to about a quarter of a million primary school girls across the country. We are capable of doing over 5 million pads a month. We are able to cater for over 720,000 girls. 720,000 is a lot of girls. To give you an idea of the scope of the project, the largest of its kind to date, the graphic serves to detail the distribution of sanitary pads to over 2,240 schools throughout the various districts within the Nairobi, Coast and Rift Valley regions. The delivery of over 2.2 million packets means that over 18 million pads were made available to the most affected areas, along with the delivery of over 920,000 sets of underwear. Throughout the distribution schedule, efforts were made to ensure that some of the more underserved schools would have a greater share provided. Districts to benefit the most include Narok South District, with 189 schools being provided, Narok North District with 177, West Pakot District with 147, and Umsambweni with 124. This is where a partnership with the Girl Child Network comes into play. We are the only ones who've partnered um, with a very, very big um, organization called the Girl Child Network, who are experts in this field, have been in it for several years, and they, are, um, they have the knowledge and the expertise in things like training and uh, curriculum. The good thing about African Cotton is the first time they came and asked us if we can partner with them so that we can do the training on the management and use dispo and disposal of sanitary tiles. We were shocked because we went to the schools and girls didn't have underwears. So we came back to the drawing board and said we must give girls underwears.
With assistance from the government as well as education for families and communities, empowered girls learn to see themselves as equal citizens and able human beings who need not suffer simply because of their gender. We'll say this project, uh, we must thank the government for coming up with this uh, concept. You will appreciate that the main reason why I considered decision to get into this kind of engagement was to make sure that the girl child stays in school and that this is not something that you can cap to a calendar. This is a continuous process. This is a drop in the ocean. The need is wide and it has to be sustained. This is a call to keep the girl child in school. The completion of primary school level education not only has large economic returns but many social returns as well, such as lower infant and child mortality rates, better child health and reduction in gender inequality both within the family and in later stages of adulthood.